Hello, my name is Mr. McGeehan. I'm Assistant Principal for Teaching and Learning. And this is a short video to show you how to log on to Teams for live lessons and how to use the chat and microphone. First thing that needs to happen is you must log in with your school email. So if you're not sure how to do that, you can go to www.office.com and from there, you can use your student login. So if your name is Andrew Workard and you're year seven, your username would be 20 because you joined us in 2020. A Workard, your first initial and your surname at northampton-academy.org. And once you're there, you can then install Office which means you've got all these other tools that you can then enjoy. So, when you're in this area, uh, for joining the live lesson, you go to your Outlook, which is your email. When you're in your email, the next thing you need to do is look down to the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a calendar icon, click on that. Once you're into your calendar area, that's when you need to look for the day and the time of the lesson. And that will have been advertised to you on Show My Homework or Satchel One, as it's now called. And you go to the lesson, let's say it's this one, and you click on it. Now, once you've clicked on the lesson, you will see very clearly this join Microsoft Teams meeting sign. Now it's getting exciting because you are nearly in the lesson, but not quite. You will see this screen next and there are things you need to do here. Most importantly, make sure your microphone is switched off and then you can join. Now once in the meeting, you'll likely see a screen set up by the teacher that's giving you instructions. I've got one of Mr. Leaf's here, one of our great English teachers, and there will also probably be a, a timer going that's just giving you a countdown to when the lesson will begin. Please make sure you arrive early, unless you've come straight from another online lesson, you should really be there five minutes at least before the lesson begins to make sure you're ready to start. Now, if you have a question for the teacher about the work <clears throat> or they've asked you, the students, a question and you want to reply, um, then that is the icon that you want to be looking for. OK, this speech bubble icon right here. If you click on that, that then opens up this whole area here and it's in this box that you will be able to type. And once you have typed what you want to say, you can then just click the arrow button or you can press the return, the enter button on your keyboard and that will send a message to the teacher and everyone else will be able to see it as well. If the teacher's invited you to speak, you can unmute your microphone. I'm just drawing the arrow to that part. It's right here. If you click on that, it will unmute your microphone. You can talk to the class and to the teacher. You only do that if the teacher's asked you to. Now, if you're in a class or if you're in a lesson where we've joined together some classes, that may mean that rather than having a regular Teams meeting, we go for what's called a live event in Teams. If you're in one of those, you have a slightly different experience. For starters, if you arrive early, well, we, you must arrive early, but the first thing you'll see, it may well be this, that the live event hasn't started. Don't worry about that. Um, it will be starting on time. The other thing to consider is you can't unmute your microphone. Uh, students can't talk in these sessions, but you can still send questions. On these occasions, they're not shared directly with a class unless the teacher decides to share them and it may be that you just get a private response from the teacher to your question so i hope that's been helpful if you have any questions and you're watching this in your character development session then please ask your teacher now if you're watching this from our website on another occasion and you have any questions this is my email please feel free to get in touch i'll be happy to help thank you for listening